Hey guys, DJ AJ 101 here, and as, as it says from the title above, there's a video right up there. This is a solid state drive upgrade on a 2011 MacBook Pro 15 inch. Now, as you guys can see, I've already upgraded memory on this thing, which is was which was in my prior video. I upgraded from 4 gigs of RAM to 8 gigs of RAM, so you can go check that out. Hopefully, I'll offer a little bit more of a speed boost for this guy, but even more of a speed boost will be with this guy right here. It's a crucial solid state drive. It's 128 gigabytes in size so we're going to be doing that and as you can see i've already got the mac pro flipped over and i have removed the screws of course these three screws here up here on the top are actually longer uh, than the other ones as you guys can see right here if this will even focus i have no idea uh, those are the ones on the top three and if i can even hold up one of these these are the <laughs> these things are so tiny these are the ones right here that are actually on the top or the uh the rest of them besides the top three so as you guys can see the screws are a little bit smaller so definitely make sure to take out these three first keep them safe and sound and then take the, the rest out make sure those are safe and sound as well anyways we're just going to kind of pop off the cover right here pulling up from the top and as you guys can see there's a couple of clips there on the bottom so it's going to make a couple of popping noises and uh there we go we have it removed so we're just going to set that off to the side and as you guys can see, here's all the guts of the computer itself. You have the motherboard and the RAM right over here, super drive, battery, and the hard disk drive, which we're going to replace with this guy right here. So anyways, let's get right to it. Um, first thing I read about this that you need to do, <coughs> excuse me, you actually need to remove the power cable uh, from the battery before you do this. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look for this thing. I'm going to zoom in on it really slow. You're going to want to look for that little connector right there. It's right next to the memory. As you guys can see, I upgraded to uh, OWC of the World Computing Memory, a great site to get your Mac memory from if you so prefer them. I'm going to stop right there because it looks like it's getting a little fuzzy. But it's actually this guy right here, so that's what we're going to do first. Now, there should be a couple easy ways that you can do this. You just should be able to pry it up a little bit with your fingernail if you got it. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to pry it up a little bit from this side, seeing if it actually comes out. I have no idea if this is going to work, but I'm just going to kind of pry it up, and there we go. I just kind of pried it up like that, and of course it disconnected, and there's the pin connector. Uh, you are now ready to remove the hard drive. So the first thing that we need to do before we actually remove the drive itself is remove this little bar up here. As you guys can see, there's a screw, there's a screw. This bar is actually holding the hard disk drive in place. So we're going to have to remove these Phillips screws. And for that, you can just use a little miniature uh, Phillips screwdriver. So I'm going to do that right now, hopefully on camera, not, not hoping to screw up that much. I know you guys can't see that much, but you guys can see I'm unscrewing the screw there. The screws shouldn't come all the way out, so you shouldn't have to worry about losing them. And uh, that was pretty easy. I just unscrewed the two screws, and the retainer bar should uh, pop right up in all theory anyway, right? If you guys have ever done anything on camera, you always know that's easier when you're not doing it on camera. Anyways, there's a retaining bar and there's these little orange orange bumpers that hold the drive in place. So we're just gonna set this off to the side with our screws, make sure that we don't lose it. And now we should just be able to pop the drive up. And here's the SATA connector, just kind of wiggle that free. And there we go. So here's the drive. Next step is actually gonna be able to take these little these little mounting brackets right here, they're actually in the in the drive itself, which I'm actually going to do off camera because that's a little bit more of a pain. Uh, you need a special kind of screwdriver for these that uh, I do not have, so I'm just going to use a little pliers. And actually that does work. If you're really careful and you can get a good grip, you can actually remove these things with a little pair of pliers. I don't know how ergonomically safe it is to do that, but uh, I know I have done it in the past and it has worked if you don't have every one of the correct proper tools to do the job. So I'm going to do that real quick and I will be right back for you guys. So of course as you guys can see from right here I've actually removed the four, the four mounting uh, screws that were actually in this drive. All four of them are now gone. So the next step is going to be to actually unbox or unbag I guess the solid state drive which is right over here. So we'll actually open this guy up right now. It says caution make sure you use anti-static. That's right. You definitely do not want to ruin a drive that's, uh, that's this expensive. Uh, solid state has definitely gotten a little bit cheaper, but it's not entirely, completely cheap yet. At least not as cheap as hard drives, so we're going to try and unbag this guy. Kind of slowly pull it out. So here it is, here's the crucial drive, and this drive actually had some pretty good reviews. I'll also leave a link for this guy in the description below if you'd like to check it out. And of course it looks just like the hard disk drive. 
It's just it's a little bit lighter. And it's got the same 30 pin connector. And it's got the same holes which we are now going to use to put those uh, four, four mounting screws back in the pegs. So I'll be right back after I have that done. Sit tight. Okay, as you guys can see right here, I have uh, the four little pegs back into the holes right here. Uh, I do recommend that you use the proper uh, tool to do this. I wish I knew. I think it's like a T, a T5 or some screwdriver uh, to use to put these in because I know I used a little wrench and uh, it's definitely a lot harder to do that without the proper tools. So I uh, recommend using the proper tools unlike me. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put that little tab back on here. We're actually going to take that right here from the old drive. Hopefully there's enough uh, adhesive on here to stick to the new one. So we're just going to kind of peel that off just like so. So we're going to roll this guy off to the side. And now we're going to match it up just like it was on that one. The SATA connector right here and lower. So it's toward the lower half. It doesn't have this little gap right here in between. So we're just going to kind of stick that right here on the drive. Just kind of put it on there nice and tight. Hopefully that stays. And uh, there we go. We got our tab back on our drive. Now we can connect it to the SATA connector. What we're going to do, we're just going to make sure that we uh, connect it right here so and there we go this drive definitely is a lot lighter guys <laughs> it's a lot lighter than this one right here because it's for solid state and it's just memory chips so now what we're going to do is we're just going to drop it back into the holes that are right down here first and foremost toward the bottom so just like so and then we just set it right into place now it's nice and pretty sitting there we're going to take our little retaining bar that I took out just a bit ago. We're just going to kind of set that right there. And we're going to get our screwdriver again, our trusty rusty screwdriver. And just kind of screw it back in. I know you guys can't see that, I'm kind of blocking the light, I apologize. Make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, and I just put these two screws right back in. This thing's nice and pretty, sitting tight. It's nice. It's sitting right in there, which is great. So, can't be moved. So now we're just going to get the back panel, put that back on, should be set to go. We're actually going to take that power connector and put it right back in its spot. So I'm going to zoom in on that. And I'm just going to reconnect this power connector. And you're just going to slide it right back in place. Of course, you heard the little click. Okay, that's all set to go. Thumbs up. Okay, power connector's back in, SSD drive sitting nice and pretty in its slot there with its tab back on. So now everything all buttoned up inside the MacBook Pro itself. Here is the lid, and of course you guys can see right here, these two little tabs are actually the tabs that snap in where you hear those pops if you put the cover back on. So we're just going to place the cover back on just like so. We're just going to push in the middle, make sure that those tabs actually align in the right spots. Maybe a little difficult to do. I know I'm working on it right now and I can see that it's not lining up 100% right. So we're going to pull it back up. And I could hear as I was pushing down that we had those little pops right back in here. I don't know if you guys could hear it, but now it's sitting nice and tight. And guess what? We're now ready to put the screws back in. And I'll do that and I'll be back in a second. And I just got done putting the screws back in. Of course, the three longer ones went right up here at the top. And of course, the shorter ones went in the rest of the uh, seven holes. So anyways, we can now flip the MacBook Pro over, open it up, and boot it up. And now we're pretty much done. And now you can transfer your data from a Time Machine backup or just do a clean install of Mac OS X. Anyways, guys, this has been DJ AJ101 here with the Solid State Drive update. I'll leave the link in the description below if you'd like to check out this crucial 128 gigabyte Solid State Drive for yourself. Also, if you'd like to rate, comment, or subscribe, feel free if you have any questions below. And of course, rate up if you like this video. And subscribing also helps me uh, bring you guys great content and also helps me continue to do this for you guys. So if you'd like to subscribe as well, I fully encourage that. This has been DJ AJ101 here with the Solid State Drive update in the 15-inch early 2011 MacBook Pro. I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great one, guys. Bye.